Hello and welcome again to Google Sheets for and the Apps script. Today we are going to see how to import a library from another sheet or from another Apps script and use it in our sheet so we don't need to write the code. We can use the same functions we had created before so we can easily use our functions across our sheets without the need to write a new code. If you remember, that's the sheet we had used in the previous time. Uh, that's the cube function which we had put the description, the example and the range and every detail is found in it and uh, it was professionally written. We will find the link on the top here. You can refer to it just the video before this one on the channel. So if we go to our apps script from here extensions and then apps script, you will be able to see the functions that we are we had created uh, across several videos in the channel. You'll find the, the link of the channel on the top here if you like to go, uh, go across it. That's the square function which was trans changing the style of uh, my sheet also the functions uh, GS where we had created the functions and this one was when we were testing the do get and you'll find this one was a cube with a description of the daily description and the examples and the functions which we had put some examples with the functions without examples and and so on with their names and and so on so I need to use these functions in another sheet without copying the code into the new sheet and without uh, writing the code again. That's the beauty of using libraries. So how to make this? First I will go to deploy. I will select a new deployment. I will make in, in a totally uh, new deployment. I will make it. I need to make it for everyone and everyone with Google account. It's ready to make it as a web app or as an add-on as we had tested it in the video before last. Okay and uh, now I'm going to select it to any user accessing the web app and with anyone with Google account so it's available for them and I'm going to add here to make it as uh, a library okay now I'm going to deploy when you deploy it simply tells you that the, uh, you can share this uh, library or this script with anyone to use it as a library that's one of the ways another way is that we need to share it as a library you will see this in a moment so done simply it's done and then if you return back to manage deployment because if you don't have a link for the library here if you return back again to deployment and to manage deployment you will find the last deployment we had made as a library if you go down you will find here a, a log or you find the url for our library so you will copy this url but actually when we are using it on the app script not on another app or on the web app we need to use the id so simply i need to create a new sheet to create a new sheet from this big sheets icon if you click on it you will go to the home page of the sheets on your account on this account this plus sign will open you a new sheet so that's a totally brand new sheet just wait for it till it's completely uh, loaded so you can open the apps script you cannot open the apps script without loading it it's completely loaded okay now i think it's loaded so apps script and it will find open to you an app script it's having no code at all no .js file no code i had written no functions and so on and i need to use some of the functions that i had created in other sheets instead of copy paste i'll go to libraries and i will paste the link that i had copied from the other apps script here i need to move whatever after and before the uh, backslashes so i move here at the end and i go to the very beginning also i remove all the code before the slashes i keep only the code at the middle which is the id of uh, my library that I had created and then when I click look up it would give you the the all the versions that's the head which is the current version and the version to which I had deployed and the other versions now I get to give it a name so I can call it with this name so I will call it simply data l51 as I was naming it on uh, on, on the original sheet I will call it data l51 so that's the name of this library and any function in this library any method in this library will be as like professionally you are doing you it will refer to this one if you click on this three dots menu it will tell you open in you can remove it or open it in a new tab so open in a new tab it will display to you all the functions that you had uh, imported some of these functions include the detailed professional exp uh, expressions and writing we had already uh, assigned in our original apps script you cannot change it here you will use it as it is and other functions you will find it only just it's coming with a title and here you can see and how to use it and so on so that's important when you need to ex import functions or to use it in other sheets to write details about it so the user you as using it in other sheets or the user in other sheets can understand what you are doing in the cube function all the functions are available here for you to use it even the square function which is changing uh, the style of the sheet they are all available here 
okay, for you to use it. But there is no description because we didn't put professional description for all of them. When you are trying to import, make a library, please make sure to make description so you make your life easy that you just import it and you can use it easily on many times on the other sheet. So after importing it, what if I say equal cube as I was doing previously? Here you will find that equal cube is popping up nothing. So this means that we didn't import it correctly or what is the problem? Maybe I need to, to write the library name here. So I will I will check the library name which is data L51 and I can maybe call it with its name uh, with the name. So I don't call it with just cube. I need to call the name as we are calling a, a class or something like that encoding. So I need data L51 dot and then I put cube or something like that or, or square or something I was so other functions we were making. So you find also that it's not popping up. It's not used as a custom function. It's not detected as a custom function. So how can I use the functions that I imported them? Simply, I'm going to use them inside the apps script code. So how is this? First, I need to put the name. As we're putting the apps script sheet and forms and so on, so I put data L51 professionally as I had created it. And then I can select any of the functions. So if you select the square sheet, that's one which was styling the sheet. It was making it squared with the background, yellow background and giving a border and, and so on. So, and then I didn't write any code, just I imported the function. And then when I run it, you can see that here, that's the plain sheet. So if I run it now, if we turn back to our sheet, you can see that it's squared with borders and uh, with yellow background. So it's perfectly done. So it's without uh, making any code inside. So how can we can use also the cube function? Yes, we can use also the cube function and we can assign it to variables. Normally, as we're using the professional sheets apps script function. So let any random variable y is equal to, I need to put also the name of my library, which is data L5, L51 dot cube. And I need to pass it any variable as three, for example, as a core constant. And then just simply I'm going to log this to the screen to see what we are going to do. So it's console.log. Of our y and save and run let's see if the cube function is also working and can be assigned to a variable as it's working perfectly so you can handle use the all the library functions you had imported perfectly as the original uh, functions written here or as the functions that are coming originally with the sheets and apps script so how to create a custom function using uh, the functions that i had imported that's what we're going to see now so simply I'm going here to uh, write a custom function as we are used to it. So we'll write first uh, a function. I'll give it a name which is a little bit different from uh, the names that we had used here. We'll call it cube2, for example, so we can discriminate it between it and the original function. So it's cube2. I passed any variable, variable like x, for example. And simply here inside it, I'll make it return. So to use it as a custom function, it should return. I right, return my library dot cube. And the cube will use the same variables that is passed to the function or argument that is passed to the function, which is x. But to use it as a custom function, as we had said in the previous video, we can return to the one before, video before this one. We need to make a, a, a say that it is a custom function. So we need to make a, cont, uh, a comment here, double asterisk, and we put here at custom function. So like this, it is detected as a custom function by the uh, by the sheets. Okay, and which the sheet that is bound to this, uh, or the apps keep bound to this sheet, or the, because they are bound together, because the sheets is created here. So simply if I put here cube2, you can find it popping up, but we didn't make any description and examples for it, and I give it a number, and it's loading. Now you can see perfectly it had worked. Now we had seen how to import libraries, how to use them, uh, even how to use them as the custom functions. Join, subscribe, spread the information, join our trainings on Udemy, and ask for our services from the online web store.